Hi garden friends, welcome to the channel. I am Era and this is Gardening on Purpose. I garden in Georgia, Zone 8A, where I do gardening related videos. Today I want to share with you my recent plant purchases, which are pretty much clearance plants from Lowe's and perennial markdowns from Home Depot and some essentials that I'm going to need to combat some problems I'm having in the garden. So let's get started. First up are these beautiful Rainforest Sunrise Hostas. These I got from Home Depot. They had these marked down. These are usually, let me see, I think they're usually $8.98. Yes, no, $9.98. Pretty much $10 for these hostas, guys. And they had them two for $12 in the store. So I got a couple of these because I'm working on the front of my um, foundation bed where I need to put some part sun plants. I already have Lyrope for one part, but I need hostels that can take a little bit more sun and this guy seems to be doing the job. And I got six of them. This is Rainforest Sunrise. It is a part sun hosta. This one here, it gets eight to 12 inches high, and you have to plant them pretty much 16 to 24 inches apart. A lot of hostas that I have in my yard are shade, but these are part sun. And like I said, even though it does not say perennial markdown here, there was a sign that had all the hostas, including the Minuteman, the Patriot, the, the wide brim, and this guy here, they were all two for 12, so I grabbed a couple of these. And I love these because they're so cheery in the garden, guys. They are so bright. You can point them out from the driveway. That's how really, really bright these are. So these are Rainforest Sunrise. Also from Home Depot, guys, surprisingly enough, they had a bunch of stuff on... Um, perennial markdown and this was one of them this is lavender and i got two of these this is lavender layla blue and these were usually 14.98 and they were five dollars guys here's the tag Now, I struggle with lavender, but I keep trying. I really do keep trying. I bought some the other day, and I showed you the video for it, and they're not doing well. But I am not going to give up on lavender. It is really a great plant, great for pollinators, smells nice, and it's great for the kitchen. And I'm just not sure what the problem is. Sometimes I think, okay, I have it in a spot where it's too wet. Lavenders don't like that. But even when I move it, it just doesn't do well. So these two were $5 each, guys. And this, all it needs really it to, is to be trimmed because as you can see, there's new um, buds right here. Once you take these spent buds off, then it gives these guys a chance to really come to their own, guys. So these were $5 in this container right here. Lavender Layla Blue, $5. Next up, also from Home Depot, guys. They were in the mood this week, I tell you. This one here is a Delphinium. This one here is usually $20, guys. I got it for $5. This one here is Delgenius Breezing. And this one blooms early summer to fall. They had another one that only bloomed in the summer. So I prefer to buy this one because I know that even though the plant looks like this, I am not worried because I know it's supposed to bloom again. And all it needs is to be trimmed, take out the sun for a little bit, help it gather itself, give it some water, and then put it back in the sun. And guess what, guys? There are two plants in there. There are two plants. Now, this, one of them is bigger than the other, but there are two plants in here, guys. I kid you not. This is a perennial. Full sun was $20 and now only 5 And it's hardy to negative 40 so most people can plant this. And I have delphiniums in my yard. Um that I bought not on, well, yeah, they had it on sale in Home Depot a couple of weeks ago and I bought two for $10, but this one was $5 and I have a spot for it. So those three were from Home Depot, the Hosta, the Lavender, 
and the Delphinium were all Home Depot. Next up, we have from Lowe's. These guys here, you might have seen them in the video where I was actually at Lowe's and I was pointing out all the clearance plans on the racks, but I ended up picking these guys up because I love them so much and they do so great in the yard and I might have a spot for them in the foundation. This is Cat's Meow Nepeta. These were $13.48 and there were $7 in the end love cat's meow this guy here look at the blooms on that healthy looking plants i'm so lucky with my lows i get decently looking um clearance plants at my at my lows this one here is hardy from zones three to eight and it grows a maximum of seven somewhere between 17 and 20 inches tall let me know if you have cat's meow nepeta in your yard also at Lowe's were these guys here, and you saw them in the video as well, is some more salvias that I wasn't sure what type of salvia it was. It didn't say. They removed the tag off of all of them. It's really strange. I say that a couple of times before, where this one, the Nepeta, has its tag, but this salvia doesn't. This salvia, all this guy needs, guys, is literally a haircut doesn't look like much and I'm gonna actually do another video I have a video I did last year where I showed you how I took care of my clearance plants once I brought them home if you haven't seen that video it's pretty much a year old I'm gonna have to do another one because um, clearance plants are a big deal people want to find deals and I know it's hard when you go to Lowe's and you go to Home Depot and you see the plants looking like this and you're thinking I'm not gonna spend money on that if you bring it home you trim it up to keep it out the sun and water it, it will come right back. So that was a salvia and I got two of these for $7. Surprisingly guys, I saw this guy on sale on clearance at Lowe's. This is Blue Chiffon Rose of Sharon. This would be $15 in a, looks like a two gallon. Yes, it's a two gallon and doesn't look like much. I'm not sure what the deal is with this plant, but I have two, I have sugar tip and I also have, I have sugar tip and I have pink chiffon, yes, that I bought online, which I usually don't do, but I bought them when I was going through my plant withdrawal back in December or back in November. But this one was on clearance because it probably is damaged in some sort of a way. I'm not sure. It doesn't look dry or anything. It looks quite wet. Not sure if it's been overwatered. But either way, guys, I'm so happy because these generally don't go on clearance for me. This is Blue Chiffon. And this guy here is a full sun plant. This guy blooms in the summer. And it's hardy from zones 5 to 9. So I was really excited to see that plant. So between the Rosa Sharon, which was from Home Depot, I am just so excited because I'm really filling in the garden, even though, you know, space is tight. Some of these plants are actually going to end up in areas where they're where they are not going to get as much sun as they should. But I could not pass up these deals, guys. So those are the plants for this week. Clearance and markdowns at both Home Depot and Lowe's. You might have heard me complain about the Japanese beetles that are destroying my hibiscus and some of my roses. So um, one of the users suggested, one of my um, subscribers or somebody in the comments had suggested bag a bug and I'm gonna try it. I try not to use stuff in the, the garden, but I'm gonna have to because it's destroying my plant. This one here I got from Lowe's. It says, bag a bug, Japanese beetle trap. It lasts the entire beetle season and it traps over a 5,000 square feet area. It says it draws Japanese beetles. That might be an issue, but let's just see. Draws Japanese beetles into the trap away from valuable ornamentals flowers and shrubs I like to hear that so let's just see what's included it's one set of interlocking veins one dual lure system two bags and one hang tie I'm gonna try that out guys and let you know how it goes I also bought this guy here the mosquitoes are eating me up sometimes and I need to I should have done this already actually and I already have one of the containers I'm not sure why I'm 
lally dagging with this but i need to attach this to my hose and put this in the lawn so i can help with the mosquitoes the fleas and the ticks i mean i don't know if i have fleas or ticks in this yard but i know for sure i've got mosquitoes so i'm definitely going to add this to my hose and spray this on a cooler day when it's what when it's not 95 degrees I also bought this guy here, Plantone. I'm going to be doing my second fertilization in the 1st of July. And I got me this guy here, which I use for most of my plants. And then I either use Rose Tone or some other type of rose stuff for the rose uh, plants. And I use Holly Tone for the evergreens. This was $13, usually a dollar less at Walmart than it is at Home Depot and Lowe's. Finally, guys, I bought this because I knew of this before and I never really see it in my store, but this is supposedly supposed to be good for um, crawling insects. This is diatomaceous earth. It says it kills cockroaches, ants, beetles, and other crawling insects, and it's for outdoor uses. That's the guy that I'm worried about, this one here. That's the Japanese beetle. I don't have any other issue but Japanese beetle. Now, this was telling me don't put it around the yard, put it around the plants. As per the instructions, it's saying apply only to plants and soil around plants. Do not apply to landscapes, including brick, stone, wood, or metal surfaces. Surfaces, so I won't be doing that. So this is the guy that I'm trying to get rid of. It has been wreaking havoc, and it's only seeming to bother two types of plants, the rose and the hibiscus. Everybody else looks great. So I just need to put a mask when I use that, because apparently it's a, it's a powder, and I don't want to get into my nasal cavity or my eyes or my throat. So let me know if you've used this and how I've, heard, I've actually heard that this is really, really good. People rave about this thing, but I've personally never used it. And I like the fact that it's garden safe. I'm not an organic gardener in anything, but I try not to put anything too bad in the yard, even though I'm about to use this guy here in the yard but I have to just for now and just for the beetles and the beetles don't really stay along stay around too long but just enough where I can get rid of them a little bit so those are what I bought this week guys plant tone fertilizing for the first week in July these this diatomaceous earth for thy crawling insects this is specifically for the Japanese beetle this is specifically for the mosquitoes in the lawn and these beautiful plants that I got on clearance and mark down at Lowe's and Home Depot. Let me know what you think, guys. Let me know how it's been going. Here we are in the middle of June. You guys should be seeing some clearance plants by now or some really great markdowns at your Lowe's, your Home Depot, or your Walmart. Let me know. Please like, please share, please subscribe. Remember, hit the notification bell to be alerted on my new videos, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.